We did it again. I told y'all 2K is not bringing back seasons without some sort of catch. And we were right. Rookie to Legend is back in the game. 2K tweeted out today and said, In NBA 2K24, the seasonal progression track will now combine my team and my career into one linear reward system. Players can earn a free reward from both modes each time a player reaches a new level in hashtag 2K24. So from what I'm seeing, that's an absolutely gigantic w even people playing my career can level up on the seasons which is just fine because we have a rookie to legend grind so this literally gets rid of the issues we had back in 2k19 where you were able to play my career and get to legend which doesn't make any sense because you're earning online rewards by doing that and then we also have a legend grind at the same time okay so 2k also tweeted out whether you play my career my team or both modes, your path to level 40 unlocks 80 free rewards, one from both modes in a season. Now here we go. Ladies and gentlemen, we have NBA 2K unveils prices and structure of new premium passes for 2K24. Pro Pass will cost $9.99. Hall of Fame Pass will cost $19.99. Pass upgrade is $10, which will allow Pro Pass buyers to upgrade to Hall of Fame. Level skips are $1.99 each, will allow players to skip one reward level. I told you guys you guys know that have been here man i told y'all 2k was going to have some sort of paid battle pass system now i'm not saying that's necessarily good we'll talk about that in a second but i predicted it prediction plug in the comment section down below and check out this interaction on twitter oh so him just running his mouth and making stuff up like always i said bookmarking for september he said i'll buy your first season battle pass and build if that's how seasons work in 2k24 tell that man to pay me tell that man to pay me so i'm i'm just gonna say man i'm extremely sorry to my haters um i do want to apologize for absolutely nothing because i told you again click baiter where because it looks like we're right once again tell that man to pay the plug pay the plug in the comment section down below now 2k tweeted out and said level does not reset at the start of a new season so we have levels in the game then we also have our season run which will reset each season and that is amazing 2k now i do want to go ahead and say i'm not necessarily in the favor of paying for rewards as you guys have literally heard me say before i would rather not pay for a quote-unquote reward that's usually something that you would grind for and get for free but i am on record saying and i still will because i have not changed my mind if that's what we have to do to get good rewards then i guess that's where what we have to do man because that's what every single game is doing nowadays call of duty apex fortnite if they're actually genuinely good rewards i will pay for them if not then i'm really not going to now i see a lot of people already concerned about this being paid to win there could be you know upgrades in there there could be things you unlock that are look at that move by the way nine minutes of new gameplay even though i told you I, guys i was going to take a day off i still got you with nine minutes of new gameplay but anyway what i'm saying is people are concerned that there will be rewards in there that are going to be quote unquote paid to win well the game is already kind of paid to win in a way like i mean most people i would say 90 plus percentage of people already go on there and upgrade with vc let me know if you guys upgrade with vc or you grind to 99 yourself now i said this before and people took it the wrong way which which is actually hilarious not everyone of course but i said even if you don't pay to upgrade your player with vc with your own money you pay with the time because you have to put in countless hours to hit 99 overall you could have worked one shift in mcdonald's instead to pay for that so i look at time as money you know what i'm saying some people do some people don't but you're gonna have to pay for it regardless although this is the first thing that it seems like you're gonna actually have to really pay to get because you don't actually have to pay to hit 99 overall you know you can grind it out so 
we'll see what they do in call of duty they have an upgrade system which i've never bought their battle pass because you're able to use stuff that you earn to buy things on that battle pass so for example when the game first came out i was able to get the one gun that i wanted it was supposed to be a one one shot headshot sniper and that's it i didn't need anything else so i didn't have to buy the pass so we'll see what 2k does with that i don't know if they're gonna go in that direction now lele responded to me and said seasons and level 40 are still in next gen level is now also on next gen hashtag 2k24 this tweet is sponsored by hashtag next makers now you guys know the next makers is like the even deeper logo for 2k players and i'm trying to get in there as you guys know i'm trying to make the game better that's the whole point of these videos i've already told them i'm gonna stay basically exactly the same they said they are completely fine with constructive criticism i've even been talking to 2k employees they are completely fine with constructive criticism as long as you're not like going at you know people that work at 2k and stuff like that which i understand because they're you know they're actual people at the end of the day so like i said man this is a social experiment that we are going through together right now because i will give constructive criticism for everything any problem that i come across I'll say what I think needs to be changed about that, which is basically what I do in these videos. You know what I'm saying? Sometimes I'll just go, all right, that thing is trash. But for the most part, you guys know, I give detailed explanations on what I think is wrong with a certain feature or what needs to be added into the game and then like what can be changed to make it better. So anyway, LD2K. Uh, responded to power and he said, level is separate, okay? So level is separate from the my career which is perfect if you guys went through 2k19 with me you know exactly what i'm talking about the road to 99 was kind of not what we wanted because people were able to play my career and get online rewards and at the same time i was okay with that however you were much much faster at leveling up by playing bots in my career which doesn't make any sense you should obviously get your level the fastest way by playing human beings you know what i'm saying now of course on hall of fame in my career some of the bots are better than the bots in the park i can't lie but you see what i'm saying okay so this is literally a perfect mixture of everything at least from what we're hearing right now now I want you guys to understand, bro. I got to breathe, okay? But look, when the game comes out, there is things that could definitely be different. I'm hyped right now. From what I'm reading, this is awesome. When it when the game comes out, people have said like, oh, you're so hyped right now. But when the game comes out, you're going to be complaining, okay? So when I'm hyped about something like this, that doesn't necessarily mean I can't complain about an issue when the game comes out. Like if there's some crazy issue, I'm going to say something about it and try to get it fixed. Just because I'm hyped about certain information doesn't mean I can't criticize and give constructive criticism on other information and uh, gameplay mechanics and you know things like that in the game. So anyway, guys, once again, seasons will be six weeks long okay so pretty much the exact same thing you guys know every single season i will be getting you with an update video on the rewards and maybe a live reaction like i did this year for most of them and then you know if there's new dribble moves and stuff that are good we'll post a video about that and things like that but for the most part as you guys know mike wang said yesterday most animations will drop when the game comes out so We'll see, man. We'll see what their drop is going to be this year. Now, grinding went to Twitter, and this was a very big thing that my friends and everybody was talking about because, like, you know, we're deep into 2K. Some people don't necessarily care, but this is a big answer, okay? Does the 15% XP boost apply to level as well? They said no. 15% XP booster is only for season XP throughout the season in which it was acquired, okay? So, for those of us that are going to be grinding for Legend, from what I'm reading right here, you're not going to have to pay anything to get extra XP boost, okay? It's only the Season Battle Pass, you know what I'm saying? I told you guys, bro, once again, I told you. Like I said with Uncle Dimmy even. Now, Uncle Dimmy has much more inside knowledge than I do, but I can't go out here, even if I know, read between the lines, like I've been saying, guys, beating around the bush, even if I know something... I can't say, oh, I know for sure this is in the game. This guy told me. Like, if I say a leak that someone tells me or something like that, for example, then that could easily go back to those. I don't know how many people have been told <clears throat> what that person told me, right? So if I say, oh, this is what's in the game, and then 2K goes, well, there's only two people that know that, then they're going to start, you know, getting suspicious. And I'm not trying to make anybody lose their job or, you know, lose extra money that they're using to feed their family and things like that. 
that would be crazy. Of course, I would love to leak everything I know to you, to you guys, but uh, I can't do that, bro. I can't, you know, just listen, all right? Anyway, 2K Lab said a new reward was added to the anniversary edition level skips. So you're going to get your NBA League Pass again and 16 level skips delivered two per season. So you're going to get two per season. That is uh, quote-unquote free. Obviously, you're going to have to buy that edition to get them. But guys, this is huge, bro. <laughs> This is huge. I'm definitely using my two level skips at level 38 or sorry, 39 and 40, or maybe I'll even pay for the 38 and, <laughs> and then use my two level skips each season for 39 and 40. That's going to make the grind a lot easier. But at the same time, let's, let's check this out. Okay, man, there's so much information about these seasons, bro. And it's really hard to stomach all this, especially when we've just been getting so much news, guys. If you want me to post another video, I told you 10,000 on the last one or I would take a day off, but I just couldn't. But look, man, we have like 8,000 at the moment of me making this video. I had to for you guys, because even 8,000 is crazy. If you want me to make another one today, okay, today, let's hit 8,000 by midnight Eastern. If we can do that, I got you guys, but if not, I'll post another one tomorrow because, man, we have so much news. It's actually disgusting. Anyway, this graphic, it says, okay, in NBA 2K24, the seasonal progression track will now combine my team and my career. We know that one linear thing. Players can earn a free reward from both modes each time a player reaches a new level. We all know this, okay, at the top, right? With the new change, it will introduce season passes. There are two premium passes. The 999 is going to give you access to 40 additional earnable premium rewards, four additional season pass rewards separate from the reward track. 1999 is going to give you a 15% XP booster. 10 level skips immediately applied to the season reward track. It includes everything in the Pro Pass. A pass upgrade is going to be $10, allowing players who purchase the Pro Pass to upgrade to the Hall of Fame. 10 level skips will be consumed immediately. And then the level skips, which is 199 that we talked about. So there's pretty much everything. If you guys want to know about just the seasons, that's everything put together in one video. You, you might have to even go back, bro. You might even have to go back and watch the rest. Uh, just go back and listen again because it is a lot to digest. But I'm not really in the favor of this. However, it's basically what I asked for, okay? I said, you know, season grind and legend grind now i understand a lot of people are not going to be grinding for legend they don't have the time to do that so that's where i said you know casual players can still get cool stuff with the season so we're getting both at the same time which is amazing however when i was talking about getting better rewards and i want you guys to make sure especially you guys that made this far that means you're loyal and awesome but uh what i'm saying is you know some people don't make it this far into the video make sure you hear that i'm saying when i mentioned having better rewards i never ever 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 was like oh i'll pay for these rewards if they're good however like i just said a minute ago these rewards if that's what we have to do to get good rewards then I guess that's where we're at, bro, because every game is like that, and there's nothing we can do about it, because a lot of people are going to be buying the season pass, even though they say right now they're not going to, they are, because I know I am if the rewards are good. However, if they're not, I'm not buying them, you know what I'm saying? But I have heard of some things inside of there that I can't necessarily say at the moment, but, you know, maybe at a later time. Anyway, guys, you need to see this video right here. If you haven't seen the last one, all of my last four or five videos are extremely important. We got gameplay information directly from Mike Wang. Lots of important information, okay? This one is from Uncle Demi talking about the builder, and I'm out. Peace.